Hello everyone! Gosh, it has been a while, hasn't it? I do apologize for my long absence. I've been very busy making games and getting a new job. Check out Disinfection and keep it running on Steam. Anyways, let's get on with it already. It's time to start a new project. This next project is going to eventually be a solenoid engine with reversing gear, clutch and gearbox. Not sure what it will drive yet, but I'm sure I'll come up with something or leave a suggestion in the comments. Since it's been a while, I'm starting out simple. So a two-cylinder solenoid engine with custom 3D printed Lego parts. That is what this video will be about. Since I bought a bunch of cheap solenoids for a pinball table project, I figured I could 3D print some custom Lego adapters for these. So I can use them in my Lego projects. Here you can see the first prototype of this. It's a bit rough, but all dimensions check out and the solenoid axle is at the correct height. Great! But now to somehow connect the Lego axle to the solenoid axle. Hmm. 3D printer to the rescue! Hmm. Oh dear, it would seem I've made modern art. Well, after cleanup it does seem I got things right, but it's a little too flimsy like this. I shall endeavor to upgrade it for the engine build. I also have some old guitar strings that would make great axles for this. Okay, I think this is about ready. Time to test these parts in an actual engine. Single cylinder, single acting. For starters. But wait, I completely forgot the valve required to control the solenoid. Oh whoa, what is this though? Would a Lego piece fit these switches? By jolly, it does fit! Well, that is one lucky coincidence. I think I have a good prototype like this. Time to test it. And this is where things get a little... embarrassing. The engine ran perfectly at first, but as soon as I turned on the camera it... well, it got performance anxiety. Happens to the best of us, right? After some fiddling around, I got it to run okay-ish. It seems the switch I'm using as the valve is not quite up to the task. Still, this engine is currently running at only 12 volts, pulling around 300 to 400 milliamps. Which is actually very little power. It definitely needs improvement, however. I'm sure it can run a lot better. Here's a quick test at 24 volts. Definitely a lot faster, but yeah, it immediately breaks down. <laughs> it's kind of fun to run this at 24 volts, though the solenoid is getting pretty toasty. And it's also not very stable. Okay, enough playing around. Time to go to full Monty and make the two-cylinder version. With custom switches for the valves and a nicer looking arrangement. I also improved the 3D printed solenoid adapter, so the second cylinder should be more stable. The springs that are on the solenoids should be removed. And that gave me an idea. I could very well use these for the custom switches. This way I always have the required parts per solenoid that I need to control. And here you can see the spring in action. On the back side I can insert two wires to act as the contacts. Well here we go. Time to test it. Will it work? It Yes! Awesome! Look at it go! Hmm. 
Hmm, there's still some issues, however. Sometimes it runs really well and then it does not. I think the springs might be kind of hanging onto something, or maybe they're hanging onto the contacts. And it does turn out this was the case. I needed to do some tweaking. I definitely can still improve on the uh, valves or switches, if you will. But that's for the next video. For now, let's enjoy this engine. Well, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and got inspired by it. I recently got some comments from people that were inspired to make their own Lego engines and I love to hear it. It is one of the main reasons I make these videos. For the next video, I want to tackle the switches. They are the weakest link in this design currently. I also need to change the model so it prints better. The current one is kind of messy due to lack of supports for the first few top layers. Uh, the wires could be held in place much better too. For now though, I bid you adieu, have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you next video. Bye bye!